book is called The Anatomical Venus. Has anyone heard of that as a thing? Um, a few people at the back there. Um, it is, it's a sculpture um, made um, kind of 18th century Italian wax sculpture of um, a woman and you may, you may have seen these things. Um, she's, um, I don't know, on a chaise long, maybe. She's beautiful, um, wax, human hair, um, but all her innards are out, so you can see how she's put together. It's, it's to learn from, but she's got a kind of odd um, kind of sex and death sleeping beauty vibe going on too. So I thought that that was peculiar. Um, so, um, but this thing, this phen phenomenon, this um, I, I know if you if you watch crime dramas, there's often the beautiful woman on the mortuary slab, um, you know, and the camera kind of lingers about her and stuff. Uh, so this is this is that. Um, the goddess gets her close up. The blue light you find there is prime for inquiry while the hush of stilled blood grants time enough for the checklist in your head. You are familiar with this scene, the chill glamour of the mortuary. The dead girl gives up the sequence of the last hand to touch her, the skin, the semen, the particular lesions. The camera feigns discretion, but is restless to show its intimacy with Rossetti's prosopine. Just can't help itself from eulogising hair the blush of pomegranate. The goddess will see you now. Thank you for waiting. She has planted some seeds in your womb. She will rise up for the harvest. She will tap on your window at dawn. Um, hmm. The last person to be imprisoned under the British Witchcraft Act um, of 1735 uh, was a woman called um, Victoria Helen McRae Duncan, and this was in 1944. And um, she she was a medium, and that, I don't know there was some they, they thought she was giving away war secrets or something, um, and she was known as Hellish Nell. And she she was quite I mean she was quite scary you know she wasn't one of these like you know flouncy mediums that you might see on um, you know in, in drama and that. Um, and so this is um, Hellish Nell. They plead with me to birth their dead for them. What mother could refuse a sister mother? So I allow their soldier boys to use my voice to shape their cheery valedictions. But the mothers, they want to see their angel boys to touch their faces one last crowning time. I must get theatrical, says my spirit guide. Then comes cheesecloth, egg white, ectoplasm, leaking from my breast, the labour stabs, the delivering of a shroud into the world. And their mouths agape like greedy fish. Is that him? My baby? Oh yes, they gulp it down. In quiet times without all eyes on me, I am forced to reconsider what is spirit, what is nature. I am unsteady with it all. And so I make a meal of carpet tacks to weigh me to the floor. I deserve this pain for sullying the gift bestowed on me by God. Now, dim the lights if you really want to show. See the candles burning vacancies into my meat. Does my brashness disturb you? You would prefer me fay. Stand back, I might regurgitate all hell into your choking auditorium. Um, this is my this is my last. Um, I I was in my research, my kind of manic googling. Um, that you see, I came across a, um, an article. Um, Ten signs you might be a slut, <laughs> <laughs> which is a, yeah, and I just thought found found it. It's kind of ways of controlling behaviour. I think you know, check yourself, check. Yourself. Um, so because of all the reading I've been doing, I, I um, took the language back a little bit. And um, there are there are phrases in here, um, draggle tail, if you that means your skirt's too long, you know, and you pick up all the stuff behind you, it's not good, it's not a good look. And also there, um, there is something called uh, slut's pennies, um, which is 
if, if you've got such pennies in your bread, not very good. <laughs> there is kind of little hard bits in your bread. So, yeah, don't do that. Um, so, this is six signs you might be a slattern. And thank you for listening to me. Sorry, I don't want to go off. Anyway, six signs you might be a slattern. Are you a little draggle tail? Do your skirts bedevil leavings from the gutter? When you take a look, turn around the park, do bitches very close and claim you kin? Are you wanton in your daily intercourse? Your ankles grind, your lips stained cochineal? And how's your baking lately? Is your dough a coffer for slut's pennies? Do you hear ill clavering in your breast? Is there a midden where your heart should sit? When a caller raps, does your front door acquiesce directly? The catch already sprung. Thank you. Helen, thank you so much. And what a great example of, um, you know, it, you don't just sort of magic up poems from anywhere. To, to put in the sort of research and that, you've, that you've done is, yeah, hours and hours and hours. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, one more time for Helen Ivory.